Hello friends and welcome to Think Art Stuff. As always, my name is Stefan and today we're going to start on a series of videos about screen printing. We're actually going to start at the most basic way that you can pick up screen printing supplies and start in your own home. And uh, we'll progress over a series of videos into the more complicated and technique intensive methods. Now, what you're going to need first is a design. Like I said, we're starting simple. Art. Once you have your design, you're going to need a screen. You can get these at most art supply stores. Uh, in this case, I have a Speedball 11 by 17. You're also going to want a black fine tipped felt pen. I'm using a Pigma Sensei by Secura. You can use a Micron, you can use a Copic Multiliner. Uh, the key is a fine line and that is going to write on the nylon strings. You're also going to want a drawing fluid or screen drawing fluid. There's a few different names. Uh, depending on the brand. I'm using System 3 uh, and it is called Screen Drawing Fluid. <laughs> okay, so let's get started on actually uh, transferring our design onto the screen. You're going to take your sheet and uh, put it on your desk or table or whatever you're using. Line it up with your screen. It's not, you don't have to be too picky about getting it perfectly square with the sides of your frame because uh, when you put it on your page or shirt or whatever, you're going to do some testing beforehand to make sure you're getting exactly where you want it. Uh, now we take our fine liner pen and simply trace the design onto the screen. Now the next step is that we're going to take the screen drawing fluid and we're actually going to fill in the area of the design that we want to show up on the page. In this case, I'm going to fill in the letters in ART. Uh, if I wanted the letters to stay with the color of whatever the surface I'm printing on is, I would color all the area around the letters. So, at this point, we're going to fill in the letters with our screen drawing fluid. Uh, I'm just going to prop this screen up with these handy dandy little paint jars. You can use pretty much anything to do this when you get to that point. Uh, don't worry about using any sort of fancy brush. Uh, just a standard one will do as long as it's fine enough to get the details that you want to have in your design. Don't worry too much about getting a perfectly even amount of screen drawing fluid on your design. You just want to make sure that you fill all the holes. Alright, so I finished up putting the screen drawing fluid on the design. Uh, now I'm going to let this dry. It's going to take about half an hour to an hour depending on the room you're in and how humid it is. Uh, you just need water to wash out your brush. You can use some brush soap if you need to, but it's not necessary. Um, we'll see when this is dry.